Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a video on things I have been loving at the moment because I haven't done one like this. I don't actually know when I'd lasted a video like this to be fair. So I'm going to be doing a video today of things that I absolutely love and I cannot live without at the moment. Okay, I'm going to start off with, start off with the one P item of clothing that I have that I am loving and I only just bought it but I'm loving it. It is this hat. This hat is from New Look the other day. Oh my god, it's so soft, so uh, lovely. It's such a nice colour. I'm loving mustard gel at the moment. I've got a bag in this. Don't message me during a video. I absolutely adore it. I love it so much. Oh my god, some of these have rolled under. They've rolled under the cupboard. It's alright, it has been saved. I'm gonna do um, stationery, things like that I have now. So I'm loving everything unicorn at the moment, including this. It is from uh, Paper Chase, it was from Paper Chase uh, when I went the other time. Oh my god, I love it so much, it's so cute, everything unicorn is cute. I also am loving a lot of feminist literature at the moment, including this book by Naomi Alderman, it could be Alderman, I don't know. Um, it's called The Power. You probably see it in a lot of bookshops at the moment because it is a real big kind of book at the moment, it's everywhere. Uh, I picked it up and I've just started reading it and I think it's going to be good. So that is something else that I'm loving as well. Also this little diary, I've needed one forever, um, it's 2017 to 18, it's a Collins diary but what I like about it is you get a page for every single day, so you get one whole page, you know there's loads of stuff you can fit in there. Now I'm going to move on to makeup slash cosmetics slash skincare because I've rolled it all into one for you guys to make it a little bit easier. This is simply, oh it's got hair on it, ew, it's been in the shower probably with my hair. This is simply argan shampoo and conditioner. This is an argan and violet infused shampoo. This is the Argan and Violet Infused Conditioner. I got them from a Simply Argan um, blogger brunch that they had in Hale. Uh, it was really cute, it was a really nice time. I picked these up, well, I've got a box full of stuff, some at night oil, uh, some perfume, this, a body scrub, and these, I cannot explain how much I love using them. It makes my hair smell so good, I absolutely adore them. Unfortunately, that one ran out today. Uh, but I've still got that one left, so I hope, I hope I'll get some more. I'm going to another launch next week, so. Let's see what they have in store. Now I'm going to go into makeup. Uh, for everybody who is interested in makeup, if not interested in makeup, then this is going to be a long-winded makeup discussion. This is a Sephora brow pencil that I picked up in America when I was in Florida. Anyway, it is in honey blonde to the lightest you can go. Uh, it's so thin that tip doing the job. I wish people would stop like messaging me at the moment because. I'm doing a video. There we go, you can kind of see that now. You get a little brush that goes with it on that side. Oh, it's just, oh my god, I can't believe that. It's just broken. It's really thin, so it does break. I didn't see that colour, but it is a honey blonde colour. And I'm loving that for my eyebrows at the moment. I don't like drawing them on, I'm not really a fan of that. Uh, but I do like to fill them in and give them a bit of a brush every now and then. I picked up this brown retractable eyeliner from Sephora. I like it because it's so thin and that can get a bit boring sometimes. You know, you don't want to especially use a black one all the time because uh, it can make you look a bit too dark. Whereas a brown gives it a nice subtle kind of look, an autumnal look, you know. I think I think they melt really easily. That one is just broken whilst I'm doing this video. I've done a little swatch with that one for you. You can definitely see how brown that one is. I think going between one and two mascaras that I do love at the moment, um, I picked up their reel in Benefit the other week. I don't know what it is about my camera not focusing today, it just doesn't really feel like it. It's a nice little brush, you can see from that one. And it, it's supposed to make them look real without any clumps, it is kind of splash proof they call it. Roller Lash is the Benefit one. I got it for free in Sephora because I spent over a certain amount. What I'm also loving at the moment because of the fact that it's so dinky so I can take it anywhere I want. But also it's really really good. It is a good one this. Uh, I can see why this is quite a hit of benefit as well. And I've got a lipstick here that I'm wearing today. It is a Sephora lipstick in matte. I wanted a sort of nude -ish shade but one that had a bit of pink to it so I picked up this one. It is a pink kind of colour. It sits on your lips really nice. I don't really know the name of it. It's just called Rouge Matte on here. So that is my guessing of what it would be. Here's this highlighter as well from Sephora. I always like the little separate highlighters, it's always been a thing of mine. I'm not like a fan of the palettes. So this is a little Becca highlighter in the shade, I think it's Opal Flashes Jade. It's glorious. I don't even know if the camera's gonna do this justice, but it's a glorious colour. My skin's too pale for this um 
bike. Oh, you can definitely see that now. That's one I'm loving. It's called Becca. Well, it's a Becca product. It's really nice. I. It's my favourite highlighter at the moment, I don't know what else to say. This is one that everyone, most people probably heard of, most probably use it, but I use this on a daily basis. I've never mentioned this before in a video, but this is Modern Renaissance by Anastasia Beverly Hills. They have brought out the Subculture Palette. I've not bought a Subculture Palette because of the reviews I've heard on it, and I don't know if it's worth it. Anyway, I'm a bit dirty and clumpy inside because I've, I use it so much, but I use this palette every single day. There's not been one day I have not used this palette, especially this shade here. I use this one quite a lot which is Vermeer. And I tend to stick with these ones for autumnal looks, but I tend to vary over here if I want to go for a bit darker, a bit smokier. And I've used three of them today on my eyes, as you can see. The last bit I've got to talk to you guys about is skincare. I'm going to do three things, actually four things actually. Um, I bought this from on holidays Florida because I wanted a new moisturiser for night, and this one is called Night and Flight Moisture Miracle. So I put this on when I went on the plane. Do the trick of um, keep my skin nice and moisturised. It's by Soap and Glory. It smells, mm, it smells citrusy. I use it at night every night. It's so moisturising. It's so nice, especially for dry weather like um, Florida or dry weather now when you're going to be getting dry skin quite a bit. Another thing is Locutane Body Milk with Neroli and Arc. I can't say that. Arcade. Arcade. I don't know. Uh, I sound very Mancunian. Arcade. That one. And it's so soft and so smooth. It's just lovely. I absolutely adore it. I put it on when I got a bit burnt and holiday. I put this on and it did the trick. It smells so nice. I've been loving these Biore self heating one minute masks. They are charcoal and you kind of naturally do them and it's, they just sit on for a minute and you take them off. But I had a bit of oily skin the other day and I thought I'll just try one of these. You get four in a pack. I think and they are really good to use. You get a lot of product in one packet, they're definitely worth the price you pay for them. My skin was clear after using them, I have no kind of issues. Last thing I'm going to talk to you guys about is some stuff I picked up from Bath and Body Works. Um, I also picked up a car air freshener but I'm not going to talk about that and some other stuff. But this one is, I am absolutely loving these pocket backs from Bath and Body Works. I'd heard so much hype over them and I was like right that's it, I need to get some, I need to pick some up. So I think I picked up four different types. The one I'm showing you is Better Have My Candy. Uh, it smells of apples and some hand sanitizer, really. Apples and hand sanitizer is what it smells of. See, it's a lovely green colour. It's got a little kind of design on the front of it. it makes your hands so nice. It's I just love it. I think they're beautiful. They were a dollar each. You cannot complain about these. Products. I hope you like that, it's a bit different to what I normally do, I don't know if I liked what I did, uh, but we're going to try it again sometime if that, if you guys think about that, I don't know. So thank you for watching very much, please come back to my channel, subscribe, like and comment. Thank you.